the transition seems very soft, very easy. And this is not easy. And I think that's why we cannot do this alone. And we need to partner with our competitors, I think, to create a market, with our customers to understand the needs, with our governments to understand how we can build the framework. And I think the technology is disrupting the way we are doing things. And so even the customers need to adapt on how they you know, use the electricity, use the energy. And I think putting the revolution, I think, gives us a signal of urgency, a signal that change is more, in, more relevant uh, than transition. I think internally we use that, you know, that sentence a lot because transition to some extent is a little bit soft versus the challenge we have, uh, we have today. We started maybe 15, 20 years ago. We were a niche market, so a very small market that had a small weight. And so we didn't need to industrialize the way we were doing stuff. So not only in terms of the technology, you know, building more solar, building more wind, but only in terms of the processes. I think one of the biggest issues we have today is on interconnection, even the cues for interconnection, is on the permitting processes because before, you know, the environmental agencies have, you know, a very few number of new projects. Today they are swamped with new projects. And I think if we have different rules in, a, a, in different countries, and even in certain countries we have different rules within the country because we have different regions, it's very difficult to industrialize. So you need to standardize. And I think that is something that is applicable, to, I think, to all of these issues, being centralized, being decentralized generation. A client in Europe, we are in the EU, should have the same way of putting panels in the roof. You know, a developer that is building a new wind or wind solar should have a consistent way of permitting, in terms of timing, in terms of requirements, a, um, a project in the, in the European Union. And I think we need to take the advantage of having also, you know, this group of countries to try to standardize as much as possible because without that, that is the big barrier for us to grow. I think we need to take two types of barriers. I think one is market-wise and I think our market design should try to incorporate the fact that we should be one market. I think at least progress to be one market. But to do that we also need to take the physical barriers. And I think one of the things that in impedes us to be one market is that we don't have sufficient interconnection between all of the markets and we are in Iberia, Portugal and Spain we have the Pyrenees but which is a big barrier for us to export energy to, to, to the north of Europe we have the cheapest energy in the Iberian Peninsula with wind and very a lot of sun we should be able to do that much more often than we're doing today so we need to do that in two ways regulatory wise we have similar rules physically wise we are able to you know, leave the electrons from one point to another.